Hello and welcome to the Healing Streams Reflection. The title for today's post is The Presence of God. Beyond all reasonable doubt, God is omnipresent, meaning that His presence is always with us. Yet we continue to long for an encounter with the presence of God. When we talk about experiencing the presence of the Lord, we are talking about the realization of God's presence, of perceiving His presence and being conscious of Him. There are times when His presence with us is in greater measure and we experience God in a greater capacity. The manifest presence of God is what brings power and changes lives. When we place ourselves before Him in worship, we make room for Him and increase our awareness of the presence of the Lord in our lives. Practicing the presence through worship is one of the most valuable things we can do. God has promised that as we draw near to Him, He will draw near to us and we will experience His presence in our increasing measure. Exodus 33, 13 to 15 declares, And Moses said, Now therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. Here is how God answered Moses' bold statement. My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Verse 14 of Exodus chapter 33. What an incredible promise. The Hebrew word for rest here is a comfortable, quiet rest. God was saying, Beloved, no matter what enemies or trials you face, you will always be able to find a quiet rest in me, says the Lord. Consider that, and it's clear that these Old Testament warriors who walk with the Lord also experience the blessing that God's presence brought to their lives. God's presence was so evident in Abraham's life. Even the heathen around him recognized the difference between their lives and his. Therefore, in Genesis chapter 21, verse 22, the Bible says, Abimelech spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou dost. This heathen king was saying, Abraham, there is something different about you. God guides you, preserves you, 
and blesses you wherever you go. Further, God promised Joshua that no enemy could stand against him when God's presence was with him. Therefore, in Joshua chapter 1, verse 5 to 6, God declares, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life as I was with Moses, so I'll be with thee. I'll not fail thee nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage. Again, Joshua chapter 1, verses 5 to 6. Beloved, when God's Spirit is present with us, we can be strong and courageous because no enemy can harm us. Further, God told Gideon, The Lord is with thee. Thou mighty man of valor, go in this thy might, that thou shalt save Israel. Judges 6, verse 12 and verse 14. The phrase, thy might, in this verse, refers to the previous verse, that the Lord is with thee. Gideon, there is a might in you that is so powerful it can save Israel. And that might is my presence, says the Lord. Scripture reveals Gideon to be a coward. So why did God call him a mighty man of valor? Beloved, it was because he wanted to prove to Gideon that any person can do when the Lord's presence is with him. Yes, what any person can do when God's presence is with that vessel. God further warned Jeremiah that the whole nation will turn against him and reject his prophecies. Yet God promised they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 20. God was saying, it does not matter if the whole country turns against you, Jeremiah. All that matters is that my presence is with you. Be confident. I am with you. Furthermore, God told Isaiah of a special promise he makes to those he loves. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the waters, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am, I am the Lord thy God, and I have loved thee. Fear not, for I am with thee. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 to 5. The question is, do we have the presence of God with us? Or have we lost his presence? Friends, more than anything else this year, ensure that you have his presence with you always. And that is why the psalmist David prayed in Psalm 51 verse 11 by saying, Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. This is a powerful prayer. The psalmist is saying that if God wants to take away or to take every other thing from he, he can. But God shall allow him 
So I'll always be in this presence. He says, God should not be silent about this mother. Even if he wants to discipline him, he can. But he should please not remove his presence from him. Beloved in Christ, you and I need to have the presence of the Lord in our lives. It is a wonderful experience. It is essential in our everyday life. Moses had several problems with the children of Israel. Often, they would have stoned him to death. Then he will remember God's promise. My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. That is, you can have trouble everywhere, fears and threats on every side. Since you have prayed, and you know that the secret of knowing the Lord is being in His presence, nothing will dismay you. His presence repels the bullets and arrows of the wicked. The closer you are to fire, the hotter you are. The further you move away from fire, the cooler you become. The closer you move to the Lord, the more of His presence you have. The further you move away from Him, the closer. You are to the devil. It is a wonderful thing to be in the presence of the Lord. Friends, let our prayer together be, Lord, hide us in the secret place of the Most High and hide us under the shadow of your wings. In Jesus' name, Amen.